That don't. I gotta edit that out, Roger. It's the wrong finger, Roger. <laughs> All right, I didn't record anything today. Roger and Stevie and Derek had this side in junkyard. Had this side over here. And uh, how was your day? Good. He's gonna throw shit at me. Don't be throwing stuff. No. <laughs> so they had a good day on the we're on the two-sided popper job and they had a good day on their side robin just left bob tail he brought the boom up big daddy did the doze and got the boom set up that all turned out good um i cut on the far top side the far north side of the long tall or the two-sided popper job up there and it well all i cut was oak well some popper but a lot of oak there's some nice trees, and none of them's freak big trees here. They're just a lot of nice good ones. It's nice to come off some of them freak trees we've been stuck in. Although it's nice to have them, no complaints. But I'm gonna tell you right now, some of the trees we've been working for the past three months, <laughs> there's been some freaks now. God, they got some big freaking trees out that way. Ugh, hard to get out, sucky, aggravating logging. But they're done, bye. Now we're back to normal timber. And it's not even that rocky here. It's actually pretty easy laying ground. Derek could, here, can you see? Derek could have cut every bit of this if he wanted to, which is pretty, it's a breath of fresh air. Even with, even though I'm cutting with Brutus, it's pretty much daggone gravy, you know? So, one thing you gotta figure when it comes to gravy, you gotta have it on your taters. Now, since I ain't gonna whoop Roger, this evening because my whooper's tired he's got to go to the doctor tomorrow and he don't need to go to the doctor with pop knots and a black eye so i'm gonna leave him alone today oh guys got a little corner right in the middle of all of it it's probably gonna be blurry or dark i don't know let me clean them up that helped i'll put that back in your bag Remember, no editing. I can't, well, I gotta watch the mouth then. Well, you wasn't watching her a while ago. <laughs> I, I thought I was by myself a while ago, see? <laughs> oh, God, this is dreadful. I'm trying. That's all I can say. where the light looks like up here. That's better on light.
how this goes. This is how many buttons the guy's got to figure out to run this thing. Them guys make it look so easy, but it's not. It's a lot to learn. When you're first starting, it's a lot to learn because you got your foot pedals down here and they run things. Then you got all this mess over here and they all run things. Now, none of these buttons you touch up here and you don't touch these, you touch these buttons quite often. And this thing, your joystick, you're running it all the time, but in, in, in these two you run a lot but the rest of these you run some so I, I don't I don't I don't know it's hard for me to it's a lot for me to learn now this video is gonna be a little shorter I'm not gonna push this thing cause everybody will get bored of watching cans go through the resaw what happened is is uh, we had quite a few people out from deer hunting season and stuff like that and uh, Derek's got some home issues he's taking care of so me and Rick and Balls kind of, well, Rick and Ball kind of come in late, and uh, which is fine, but because uh, I need some seat time, I need to learn how to run this thing. But I'm terrible at. It. But since I've made this video, I've got a way better running this resaw, which is easy to get way better than what I am here. But it just takes a while to learn this thing and. Nobody's logging in the woods. We're kind of rained out or whatnot. And so I'm just helping out in the mill and enjoying getting to learn something new. And it's stressful as all get out, but I'm learning it. If I get this learned to where I can halfway do something and learn the head saw where I can halfway do something, I'll uh, know a little bit about all the jobs in enough to where I could help out in an, in an emergency. And that's what I'm trying to do with all these jobs. You know, people say stuff to me once in a while, you know, about 
You know, it takes all different kind of personalities. People sometimes say stuff to me about, you know, I do too many jobs and I don't do any of them right. And yes, I understand. My personality, I'm the type of personality that uh, I'm kind of a jack of all. That's kind of my personality. Um, I can I can be comfortable in the fact that I'm not good at a lot of things, but I get to do a lot of things. And the good about that is I could see a bigger picture uh, overall. And what I'm trying to do with learning these tasks like this is all the guys that work here are better at almost all the jobs than I am, by far. But I'm that one guy that we know is always going to be there. And if somebody gets in trouble, I want to be able to help them out in any position. Now, I'm going to shut this video off early. This is going to be a short video for me, for, 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 for the way I've been doing them. Um, but what I, what I want to explain to you all that somebody that might not understand this is in my position with what I'm trying to do in my personality type, it's not okay with me to say I can't do something. That burns me up. Won't do something's one thing, but can't do it, that's unacceptable. You understand? Because to me, a can't do is a won't do in disguise. You understand? So, by doing what I'm doing, I want to learn all the jobs. Not because I'm trying to run somebody out or take somebody's job. That's not my intentions whatsoever. And these guys know that. I'm drowning anyways. But I want to be somebody they can rely on. If they're depending on me, I don't want to fail. If somebody needs me to do something, I'm going to be there doing it. Taking one for the team, that's kind of what it, I guess what it'd be considered as. And I want to be that guy to sit there to help do the odd and different jobs around there. To be able to keep the flow up. To, look, to know when somebody's shooting me bull mess or to know when somebody says, hey, I got a family emergency, I got to get out of here. And they know when they leave to take care of their family emergency, it's going to be all right. Go do your thing. You're fine. Go do your thing. We got this. Which there is a situation that happened here that I'm kind of hinting towards, but I'm not going to say it. I, I don't, it is no, not public information. I'm not going to let it out. But it got handled. It got took care of. Now, it wasn't pretty. I wasn't setting no records. But we wasn't breaking equipment. Well, we ended up <laughs> stretching bands. I love you, Rick and Paul, buddy. <laughs> but that wasn't my operating. That was something we'd had adjusted wrong. <laughs> but we learn from it. We move on. And <clears throat> everybody's getting in tune good. And, and, uh, and they're letting me play with them. So I'm happy just to get to be playing in the sawmill some with the guys. And uh, <clears throat> But uh, in this after this... Since this video, I have got way better on the resaw things. Maybe I'll do a cutaway of more recent resaw activity for me. Um, but we're going to get back to the woods. 
the next video I think would be the next video is uh, Wayne Tharp comes out to the woods to do more Wayne Tharp photography and turns out awesome. So the next video is Wayne Tharp's footage. Uh, hope y'all like this one. I know it's kind of short, but uh, hope y'all like it. See you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the buttons later on.